Tracy. Oh, Whoa. hey, I just lost you in this jungle. It's quite something. Man. What is going on, everyone? Welcome to the channel and welcome to the jungle. So, as much as it looks like we're in a jungle and it has a very, very nice vibe, we'll show you around. We're actually just in Karen. So, this is an Airbnb called the Jungle Oasis. Can we show them around? Yeah, it's very also, nice. <laughs> also, you need to pan up at some point to the yeah, draft. There's, there's a, a draft, draft up there. Right <laughs> there. <laughs> <laughs> So welcome to the Jungle Oasis. And actually, this house, yeah, it's house, <laughs> is divided into two apartments. So upstairs there is a two bedroom, and then down here you have a one bedroom, more bachelor style, if that makes sense, or studio. Um, you have the option of renting this one upstairs or renting it all out. And it comes with access to a pool that we're gonna show you, because it's really cool. But let's show you around. So when you first come in, this is what I mean by kind of like bachelor pad style. You have your table right here, and can we just take a moment to appreciate the wood of this table? It's beautiful. And the artwork. There's a lion there and cheetah cups in the back. Nope, lion cups, lion cups. <laughs> and then this, those are like my three favorite spots about this. The hand, it looks like it's all hand done in here. I'm getting off track, come follow me. <laughs> so we have our kitchen here. And I feel like if you have more glasses, I feel like these are for like wine glasses and stuff, which is pretty cool. Actually comes with drinking water. And normally that doesn't happen in Airbnbs. As you can see, we normally bring our own water as well. Sink, microwave, and here you have your stove, your fridge, your cooking utensils. Over here, you have your bathroom. And let's come back out over here. And this is what I was meaning earlier about like the bachelor pad style. So you have your bed here. It looks like it can actually be separated into two twin beds as well. And then we're gonna make you dizzy. We're gonna make you turn around. You get a little wardrobe area here that we have our bags all set out. Whoa, I'm all right. Uh, There's a carpet down there. <laughs> if you didn't notice. You have, the way they kind of like separated it out, it doesn't make it feel like it's the studio style. You see? <laughs> They've got this little thing here with plants and it just, I don't know, it separates it very well. We have a living room space with a couch, a TV. Again, I love these types of things. Oh, and I forgot. Come, come, come over here. You don't see what he's doing, that's fine, that's fine. <laughs> just walking over the couch. <laughs> and the downstairs actually comes with its very own patio out here. And I spy some fairy twinkle lights, which I'm super pumped about. So hopefully tonight we'll have some time to enjoy that. So let's go back inside and you're gonna see the little jungle path that we come out to the pool. It's pretty beautiful. This way to the pool. How beautiful is the safari pool area? So this property is actually a lot bigger than what kind of meets the eye. They actually have behind me three luxury safari tents that they used to have open on Airbnb but because of the current global situation, they've actually been forced to close them for an indefinite amount of time. Um, so hopefully when tourism starts picking back up, when travel's doing a little bit better, they'll be able to open them back up. So yeah, this property is pretty big. Like you say, you have the house, which has technically three different bookings in it, plus these three tents, that's fantastic. You guys know us, we kind of feel like it is our job, it is our duty to shed some light on little hidden gems like that that not a lot of people know about, especially in these hard times for the Kenyan tourist industry. So all their contacts are gonna be down below if you want a, a cool gem in Karen. And it's cool because it's very close to the Karen Hub, a bunch of very good and delicious restaurants. Stay posted for that because we're gonna go there as well. Uh, but it's also close to the Draft Center, the Elephant Orphanage, and a bunch of other activities that you can, uh, you can do by just using 
using Uber or your own car and just driving a few minutes. So that's pretty great. So it is not super warm outside, but the pool is very nice. So I feel like I have to swim in it to be able to review it, you know, just in case. I don't know what could really happen. The, the pool looks nice, so therefore there's not much else to say about it. But I'm going to do it anyway. So while Tracy sits in the nice uh, egg chair there, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go in. Oh, it's a little cold. It's not too bad. It's actually heated, but with the tarp, like it's not like internal heat or whatever. But it's not too bad. It's much better than the last Airbnb that we were at in Nevada. That was very cold. Ooh. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. I feel like I'm trying to convince myself. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, oh, lovely, lovely, very nice. <laughs> Now imagine this with a bunch of friends during a hot summer day with a little drink and a little bit of music. That would be great. Sadly, it is, uh, it is not that warm. We don't have drinks. It's just me and Tracy. That's enough, but you know what I mean. It's kind of chilly out. The things I do for the YouTubes. Oh. Now it's time to get ready to go out. It's mainly me because I want to take a shower because I was in the pool. Tracy's just gonna sit there and I don't know what she's gonna do. Look what are you gonna pretty. do? She's gonna sit there and look pretty. <laughs> so, shower and done. And I feel like it's the perfect time for me to talk to you about my new favorite short, my new UB short. I actually love those shorts because they breathe, they're thin, love the color, super comfortable, love the fit. And I've been wearing those to like go out with friends, to actually play golf, and even tonight with a nice button up shirt to go out on a date with my beautiful wife. So if you want a pair of those shirts or anything else that I, I'm literally wearing all the time, first link down below as usual. Time to go eat some yummy food. So we truly have two favorite restaurants in Karen. The first one is obviously Talisman. Yeah. Everyone knows about it. It is, ugh, it is delicious. I'm gonna link our review for that restaurant down below. And the second one is actually something that uh, we got from uh, Takeout yeah. in the A-frame video, but we actually never been to the restaurant itself. So a lot so. of people have been asking us to go there, but they don't think they realize that like we had it as takeout and it's mm -hmm. phenomenal. So we're actually gonna go there because we don't mind going back. No, <laughs> it's delicious. We're gonna do a, a, a little bit of a more proper review yeah. of that place and eat some extra food because, oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> To the beast, and can we take a second and appreciate this beautiful Land Rover Defender? So we just arrived at Haru Sushi, um, and we didn't know, but like the outside seating, it looks like they have the. Both of us are mind blanking on what it's actually called, but like where they cook in front of you and everything. So I'm super excited. To get some sushi and looking at their thing, it looks like they won the Traveler's Choice Award of 2020. Okay, so this wine is amazing. This is the Trumpeter Routini Sauvignon Blanc. Um, our actual favorite red wine is that same thing except for Cabernet Sauvignon. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, it's actually a really good price here. It was only like $21, which is really good. I was like, let's give it a try. I think it just became our number one. Like it just bumped Clearwater Cove out of it. That's how good it is. We're ordering so many different kinds of sushi that I actually have to write them down now in my phone to tell the waiter. <laughs> Let me go through my list. Uh, spicy crunchy tuna. Uh, that is half, right? Yes, they're all half. <laughs> and finally, the uh, samurai sword. I know it's a lot, right? So it starts with a salad, and it's so good. So somebody at work told me, next time you go to this place, you have to try the volcano chicken. It does look very good. You have to try the volcano chicken. Okay. 
So the sushi is just arrived. It, like this plate looks like it's for four people. It's actually just for Tracy and I. Don't tell anyone. And they look delicious. I know they are because we had it before, but it's really good. Team wasabi or team no wasabi on your sushi? Let me know in the comments section. And, and soy sauce too. So I want to say surprisingly we ate it all, but if you know us, we have an appetite for sushi. Like the amount of sushi we can eat is really bad, actually, really bad. Kind of sad. <laughs> really sad. <laughs> so, anyways, we ate it all, and um, we might order one more roll. It's not off the table yet, that's for sure. <laughs> So I have to say, this one is our favorite roll. It is a spicy tuna roll. Have to check it out. Um, the quality of the meat here is amazing. And the spiciness on top isn't an overpowering flavor like everything tastes the same. It's its own spicy flavor. It's like tempura bits, like spicy mayo or something. Amazing. Last bite, best bite. So I just went to the bathroom and it was our first time, my first time going inside. It's completely different than what I expected. It's actually very nice. There's like a bar where they make all the sushis. You can see them go. There's a second floor with a bunch of table. Like it's actually very nice. Still prefer the outside with the lights and everything, but still the inside is very nice and I love being able to see people make food. That's my favorite. Look how pretty it is at night. So we just came back to this Airbnb after a very good supper. Tracy, don't break anything. She already broke a wine glass at the restaurant. To be fair, the wine glasses are super tall there. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Let me, um, let me get closer so you're in focus too. My foot. There we go. Um, the restaurant was amazing. Oh my goodness. So, so good. I think it's taken top traditional su sushi Yeah. Um, in Kenya. And for me, almost like ever i really love the one we had in dubai but but they're, it's different they're, they're it's really very good. different yeah. but definitely affordable. yes yeah <laughs> definitely recommend uh that restaurant yeah. haru it's haru. delicious so i'm not sure if we said this you can cut it out if we did <laughs> uh, <laughs> we instead of getting like a full roll because one full roll is actually 10 pieces here where normally yeah. it's like eight yeah um you can pay 50 cents on top of half the price yeah. and get a half roll. So we got so many different half rolls, tried so much food. We get eight roll totals, yeah. seven different kinds. Yeah. And so like, we paid uh, 8,100 exactly. cash, which is not that bad, especially when you realize that like we have a big appetite for sushi and most people and don't eat that much. you're forgetting the point. It included an entire bottle of wine. And an appetizer. Yes, so, so it's not that bad. normally like bottles of wine in restaurants are like forty dollars and above. I would say yeah, it's the we same. We paid twenty one for like a really twenty one hundred cash. Uh, twenty one hundred cash for a very good bottle of wine. Yeah. So yeah, overall, overall highly recommended. Amazing. If you don't want to go there, perfect. Take they do takeout too. And when we had takeout that first time, I have to say it was Delicious. just as good. It was fantastic. Like, amazing. Always a little better when you go though. Because it's yeah. fresher, like they were still warm and stuff. But sometimes you get sushi takeout and like it's really bad. That's true. <laughs> You have to try if you like sushi. <laughs> now we're gonna enjoy some wine, relax. Yeah. And that's pretty much it. I know. It's been a nice weekend, just kind of chilling just for chilling. Once. No need to wake up early tomorrow. Just laid back, enjoying. It's great. It is great. Once in a while. Recommend. <laughs> but next week, back on the hustle. <laughs> back to regular programming. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. It is the next day and we slept amazingly. Oh my goodness, the bed is so comfy. It is. Very yeah. nice. And we also stayed up until 2 a.m. <laughs> Hence why my face looks swollen. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't happen often, but sometimes no. we do it when we feel like we need to spend more time together. Yeah, it was a really good night. Yeah. But now, I'm very hungry, so let's cook. Bacon and eggs. Let's do it. <laughs> Well, that was a 
very good breakfast plus I really like this little patio it's very cute especially at night but even for breakfast still very nice now well we're late not too bad after all only late by seven minutes check out was that 11 now it's 1107 <laughs> but it's not over yet because we have one very very important stop left to make we don't normally get here because we're never in Karen yeah but I'm pretty excited let's go check it out oh two friends this morning <laughs> hi guys hi <laughs> our favorite spot the wine box we're really not in Karen like that often or at all so perfect time to you know stock up on some good wines I love this place it's so beautiful I'm gonna link the video that we did about this place the cellar here uh, where we did some wine tasting and bought a few bottles of wine but check it out if you like wine this is a place you want to visit stocked up So we got hungry and normally on the weekends because we always travel and go everywhere we have no food ready so we just stopped at another place that you guys wanted us to review for some reason java house i mean i don't feel like it deserves its own video because for us it's just it's just like a starbucks or something like that although we do review burger king kfc and things like that it's very confusing anyway so we're here we're gonna have hopefully something healthy because we're probably gonna have a not healthy meal tonight but that's another store chicken fajita I can't make up my mind and I'm tired. This is what happens when we stay up late because we never stay up late. I'm a mess. So the one thing I have to say about Java House is that it always takes quite a bit of time to get our food. So anyway, in the meantime, we're going to do a very quick review of the yeah. Airbnb that we stayed at for just one night. But still was very good. It was very good. Um, so we'll start with the price because you guys are always curious. Always. Um, so it's in Canadian because my app is still registered Canadian. Yeah, so it's on Airbnb. Yeah, it's one eighteen a night. And the conversion good. looks like this, something somewhere like that. There, somewhere <laughs> there. Um, no, it was really, really nice, and I like the fact that like you get access to the pool, like a really nice, pool. very nice pool. Yeah. Um, and like, can we just talk about last night in the dark that? patio with the lights yeah it's so cute very nice very romantic it's like the perfect little couple pad like yeah. little uh, little apartment for a couple like yeah. i wouldn't go there with a bunch of friends or whatever you know there's no, just one true. bed in that unit if well, you have more friends yeah, though there's the upstairs. the upstairs or you can rent the entire thing and once again like i said uh yesterday in the pool perfect place to like have a drink yeah uh, you know just enjoy like the, the the nature in the middle of karen in the middle of nairobi yeah yeah so Highly recommend, especially if you're like us and you're on the other side of CBD and um, yeah. don't ever want to drive to Karen. That's fair. For and there, there's so much to do in Karen too. There's a bunch of good restaurants. We went to Huru, uh, oh, Haru so yesterday, good. which was very so good. good. But there's a lot, there's a ton of other options. Once again, highly suggest Talisman as well. That is a yes. must in Karen. And and there's the wine box where you can, you know, Get your stack wine. all the wine in your car and go yeah. back with uh, oh, we made some a delicious stuff. Stock up. Yeah. <laughs> So now we're going to just keep waiting for our food here at Java House. I'm hungry. Me too. Let's see if this was worth the 32 minute wait. It's very good. It looks healthy too. It's good, but it's very messy. Very messy. So finally done at Java House. Yeah. It, it costed like twenty one hundred. There's a lot of like extras for like salads and stuff. Um, yeah. But otherwise, I mean, like she said. To be fair, like it's just a very typical chain cafe yeah. food. Like no matter where you are in the world, like that's what I expect from a chain yeah, cafe. Yeah, exactly. So it's, um, it's not like the best thing ever, but like it's it's average. But like we'll good. stop if we have. Yeah, like it's, it's always when we're coming back from a trip and we know we have no food at home. I know. Anyway, that is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. It was a little bit of a mishmash of everything. Yeah. Back to normal scheduling at next uh, Saturday where we should be in Diani. Don't quote me on that. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's pretty much it. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and see you guys in the next one. <laughs> uh, no. Welcome to the jungle. Oh. I, I did not have a thing to say after. Oh. Make sure to go down in the command. Forced to close them, just doing like, during the... I'll do that again. Yeah.